Hey you guys, what is going on? Crazy Dallas back with another video. And today, we finally got an update of 2023 Wave 5. So, NASCAR Orthodox 2023 Wave 5 has been officially leaked um, today around 10.30. Someone went to the Lona Racing Store and posted a picture of Wave 5 on Twitter. Luckily, we got to see the back and everything. We, as you guys know, Wave 6 got leaked three or four, three days ago. Wave 6 has been leaked three day, got leaked three days ago. It was actually caught in a store, which is, which never usually, you know, happens. So, yeah, NASCAR Thanks 2023 Wave 5 has been officially leaked. And we're going to look at all nine cars, including the liquid color, which you guys will love the liquid color. I've heard the liquid color is really really nice in this wave actually and to be honest this is a really really holy crap this might be one of the best nascar the next waves i have ever seen now there's a hinge there's only one exclusive but this wave itself is a great wave you got primary you know, paint schemes, secondary paint schemes, and exclusive in this wave that we'll be talking to in a little bit. And then there's a couple of, um, you know, of secondary paint schemes, primaries, exclusives. No Xfinity or Truck Series, unfortunately, but... Man, oh man, this is a great wave. And yes, it is on the PTC mold, which takes it down quite a bit. That poor one exclusive that we'll be talking to about it in a little bit. This is a great wave, though. It's been quite a while since the NASCAR the next wave got leaked. Even though it was three days ago with Wave 6, still. Wave 4 got leaked almost... It would be two and a half months since Wave 4 got leaked. Two and a half months since Wave 4 got leaked. And there's a hinge. Lona Racing posted out about a little, just a little bit over a month ago, like five weeks ago, saying Wave 5 got leaked, and then everybody was excited. They were like, ooh, you know, they asked Lona Racing, and Lona Racing about, like, two days later did not respond to anybody, and then they posted out that, hey, we had to redo Wave 5. So, because for some odd reason, Lona Racing, like, I don't know, they leaked Wave 5, but then they canceled Wave 5 because they said, like, something happened, like, to their factory. Their factory, like, wasn't producing the right, like, paint schemes or anything like that. So they had to change Wave 5 completely with different cars. Well, most of them with different cars, but... Yeah, there's a bunch of, like, really cool-looking stickers and, like, packaging on these, too. And as a surprise to me... Um, I am not surprised. I had a feeling there is only three cars in this wave that I'm surprised to having in this wave. Including the liquid color that we'll be talking about in a while. And there is, you know, there is a bunch of primaries in here that I was not, ex that was, that I was expecting. So let's go ahead and hop into it. And yes, that is why wave six got leaked before wave five is because Lone Racing had to redo wave five. I think Lona Racing just um, excellently. I have a feeling that Lona Racing lied to us and they put this wave on the EL mold and and um, instead of the PTC mold. But oh, well, sadly, yes, this is on the PTC mold, but it's okay. This wave is still great in general. I am just gonna go ahead and go through this, you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Let's go ahead and get through it. So the first car that we're going to be talking about is Austin Cindrix 2023 Discount Tire. Now, yes, this one is not an exclusive. That exclusive we'll be talking about in a little bit. But the weird thing about this car is we got an a Austin Cindrix from 2022 Wave 5. It was on the EL mold. Now we got it again, so... There really isn't any change in this car. The only three changes that are in this car is the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo. No rookie stripes for Austin Center. This is the second year of racing now in the Cup Series. And the sticker. The sticker and the packaging is a little bit different. Otherwise that, there's nothing to talk about really about this car. Alright. 
Sorry about that, you guys. I had to check to make sure my door was locked. I didn't even realize that. I'm just walking around in my house just talking about this. But yeah, you guys, as I was saying, this is a nice car. As you guys can see here, um, I will let you guys take a look at the back in a little bit. This car is very nice, actually. Now, the thing about this is that this is actually really awesome because I have all of these cars. All of these cars except for three cars in this wave. One of them being the exclusive, obviously, I already have in the Gold Series. So I don't have to spend much money on Wave 5 as I usually do when I did Wave 4 and Wave 3 and Wave 2 and Wave 1. Now, as, you know... As the waves keep on coming by, we're going to get more secondaries and, you know, th other, th like, third or fourth or fifth paint schemes, you know. Either that or we're just going to get a bunch of exclusives. That's what I'm excited about is Wave 7, Wave 8, Wave 9 getting leaked for 2023. Um, yeah, you guys, this is a nice car, but um, definitely... Too plain. I don't know. I don't really... I'm not a big fan of the discount tire paint schemes. So, I'm going to give this car a 4 out of 10. Next up, we have Kyle Larson's 2023 HendrickCars.com car. I actually had this car in my predictions. In my YouTube Shorts predictions. And I actually put the Ryan Blaney discount tire car in Wave 5 for my predictions instead of Austin Sinner. Don't ask me why I did that. I meant to put Austin Sinner, not Blaney, but... Whatever. Um, this is Kyle Larson's 2023 com car. Like I said, not a, not nothing too special, but it is a nice car. I love the Kyle Larson paints, Hendrick Cars paint schemes. I don't know. Something about the red, white, and blue just makes it so cool with the, like, American-looking thing. Um, I am really not surprised that they had this car in this wave. I was just surprised at seeing the exclusive that we're getting because that... Is awesome. And Lone Racing unfortunately DMP'd slash canceled the 164 scale of the car that we're going to be talking about in a while. But yeah, this car is nothing too special either. I'm not really going to talk about this one either because we've seen this one last year. The next car we'll be talking about is a, well, a little more. Like I said, you guys, nothing too different. Just the packaging. Just a little bit of the car. Just the 75th anniversary logo and the sticker. So yeah, overall rating for this one, 5 out of 10. A little bit better than Cinderix just because it's got more design. But just, uh, just too plain. Next up, we have Christopher Bell's 2023 DeWalt. Now, when I first saw this car, I was like, this is kind of cool. But the sad thing about this car is that this is one of those cars where... Is it good? Is really cool. It's going to be really cool in the NASCAR Athletics ways, but when Lone Racing prints it out and stuff, it's not going to have those, um, freaking, um, what you call it, um, foil numbers, especially being on the PTC mold. And as you can tell by the sticker on this, yes, it's just a stupid plastic looking reflection on the sticker. And I don't blame Lona Racing for, like, having them to go, you know, to do price changes and having them take in forever for the NASCAR Athletics. I don't blame them for that. That's because of COVID. What I'm blaming them, what I'm blaming them for is the quality and the PTC mold. And everybody knew that this wave was going to be on the PTC mold, but... As the years go by, you guys, we might not even see EL mold anymore. As the, as the years go by, you guys, the PTC mold might take over it. That's the only thing that I'm worried about. Would really suck. Think about all the exclusives that one racing has put in the PTC mold. Oh, God. Don't get me started with that. But anyways, this car's a little bit better. It's got, you know, a fake foil number, which takes down a point. And with it being PT Sumo, it takes down two points. So I'm going to give this car a 6 out of 10. I think it's a little bit better than Kyle Larson's and Austin Sinex. Next up, we got the exclusive that I've been talking about. This is a beautiful exclusive, you guys. Oh, man. And it's on PT Sumo. Why? Why? Why, dude? Why? 
This was driven at the Daytona 500, as you guys know. This is Todd Gillen's 2023 Jenner 8 Tour. Yes, Jenner, the number 8. Number 8, okay? Jenner 8 Tour. As you guys can see here in that 38 Todd Gillen car right there. This is a Todd Gillen exclusive. Another Todd Gillen. Another. Another Todd Gilliland exclusive. Now, when I first saw this car, I was like, oh, cool. This one's a beautiful car. And they actually, in this video, eh, the guy actually took a picture of the actual car. Not just, you know, the packaging. Of the actual car. When he was at the one racing store in Nashville, Tennessee. This was taken at Nashville, Tennessee. Repeat, Nashville. Not Concord, Nashville. And it's really, really exciting to see this car. Who cares if it's the PTC mold, right? Well, lots of people care it is or not. But this is actually a very nice car, actually. Lone Racing actually did perfect with the coloring. The packaging is, you know, as usual, it's good in general. It's all right. I don't care really about the packaging. I just care about the car itself. That's a lie, by the way. I care about all this stuff right there. But the car in general is just so beautiful, actually. Like, Lone Racing did a perfect job with the quality and the, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the, the paint, you know, the regular colors. They did good on the pink colors, you know, the colors it's supposed to be on. I know you guys can't see closely, so we're going to go all the way over and let you guys see. So, as you guys can see here, sorry about that, you guys, that's my neighbor's uh, garage door. You guys can see here, this actually looks really good. Look, the paint scheme looks good. You can see the red's very bright, vibrant. You got the glossy black, you know, the tires look... The yellow is kind of dull on the tires, but that's okay, to be honest. Nobody really cares about the tires. And then the paint scheme, the white looks pretty pretty good. Not like a cream color like the Alex Bowman was from 2022 Wave 3. I don't know if this number 38 on the side is supposed to be silver or gray. But either way, I like I actually like it gray. It kind of kind of looks like looks pretty cool. You got the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo by the NASCAR Cup Series logo. The Goodyear, you know, logo over here looks pretty good. Looks pretty good for yellow. To be honest, you guys, this is the first time ever, this is the first time ever that I am actually, like, um, my heart is pounding. I am, like, so hyped right now. This is the first time I've actually been super, like, not just excited, but, like, ultra excited for a PTC mold car. And I had a feeling that we were going to get another Todd Gillen exclusive. The thing that sucks is that this Todd Gillen, the Todd Gillen A&W car was $30 off eBay. Luckily, I got it for $17 with sh plus with shipping and tax. It was 11 it was 12 with shipping and tax. So it was like $17.50 or so. Which still isn't too bad, but still pretty, ex pretty pricey. Think about how much this car is going to cost. This car is going to be such a pain finding. I would be very surprised if I find this car. And the good thing about the PTC mold is that Lona Racing, um, they make way more P PTC mold cars compared to, you know, they make way more PTC mold cars compared to, compared to EL mold cars. Because when Lona Racing makes the EL mold cars on the NASCAR Thanks Waves, they have to take, you know, the Gold Series cars. The Gold Series cars in the, in the, um, the Gold Series cars and the EL mold cars share. They share, you know, cars and stuff. And the PTC mold has its own type of, you know, unique in car. So that's why you see more PTC mold cars and EL mold cars in stores. Especially with, you know, Wave 8 and Wave 6, Wave 4, Wave 1 now, and Wave 3, you see a bunch of PTC mold cars now, rather than EL mold cars. And that's exactly why. 
It's not because of COVID. It's because Lone Racing has to make sure the EO Mold cars and the Gold Series cars share. Share cars and stuff like that, you know? And they just make it black, you know? So that's why right there, if you guys are wondering. It's very weird, too. But overall rating for this Todd Gillen car, this is the first time ever I have ranked a, a PTC Mold car a 9 or higher. I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. Beautiful car. Actually, really, really beautiful car. Um, the detailing looks good. The logos look okay. Not like blurry, you know. Um, the colors are very bright, bright, you know, vibrant, and nothing really screwed up on this picture. The only thing I see kind of a mistake a little bit is that uh, 38 and maybe the the uh, NASCAR 75th anniversary logo and the tires. Luckily, that's not too big of a deal because that's just little mistakes when racing does all the time. And nobody really cares about that. I know my boy OBB, the Diecast News guy, would care about that. But if you talk to anybody else, they probably won't. They'll be like, eh. It's hard to do a tiny little logo, you know. And especially the tires and the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo and stuff. So, yeah. There's that. I'm going to go all the way back. And now we're in the second row. As you guys can see here, yes, we got two more primary paint schemes that were ran out of the Detone Fire. Next up, we got Ryan Priest, 2023 Haas. Now, I know this one looks so, so similar to Todd Gillen. Well, it's different. And there really isn't much difference to this car. The only thing I can say is different about this Ryan Priest car is the paint scheme. There, I don't know. The Ryan Priest Gold Series car was a lot more vibrant, had a lot more vibrant red. But the Ryan Priest on this PTC mold is a little more duller. The black looks okay, but the reds, the red and white is a little more dull. I will still give credit to Lone Racing about the PTC mold. The PTC mold has been way better. Or I guess the Jap mold is what they call it now these days. Since it's not Gen 6, it's Gen 7, a.k.a. Next Gen. But, man, oh, man, you guys, this is a beautiful car. Man. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to turn on my fan. So, you guys, this is a beautiful car. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. Pretty nice car. So the colors are a little bit dull. Next up, we got Eric Jones, 2023 Guns N' Roses card that was ran at the 2500. Once again, another primary, another, another, you know, um, another, you know, car that is definitely dull, um, as you guys can see, or you guys can see on the Eric Jones Guns N' Roses card, there was actually some gold coloring. It's like shiny gold on the gold series and i can already tell by the sticker and by the packaging and by the car itself it's way more dull than it should be so that definitely is going to take it down two points so as ptc mole is going to take it down to there really isn't much difference it's just the coloring that lona racing is off if the coloring wasn't off the ptc mole would actually be okay if, you know, the packaging, the stickers, you know, they're okay. They're, nobody cares about them. All they care about is basically the car itself. And if Lone Racing can just not screw up the decals and get the coloring right on, nobody would have an issue with the PTC mold. Nobody. So, Meanless to say, this Eric Jones car is still really cool. Great to see a Guns N' Roses car. We just had a Chris Buescher's Pala Casino car in Way 4. Now we had a Casino car in Way 4. Now we have a rock or a, or a rock band now here in Way 5. So it's kind of cool seeing these primaries and stuff. Or secondaries by whichever, how, however you look at it. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10. I think it matches Ryan Priest 
almost matches Ryan Priest. Just the colors are a little more, more little more dull. So yeah, there's that. And as you guys can see here, there you actually get two. Um, you actually get two Eric Jones cars in each NASCAR Authentics box. And by the way, you guys, Wave Two for Winter Circle should be um, leaked next week. Wave Two for Winter Circle sounds like. So that's really exciting. Next up, we got probably my second favorite car from the wave. This is Alex Bowman's 2023 Ally Best Friends. Now, at first, I thought, wait, didn't we just have the Alex Bowman primary pace game? Because if I look correctly, if I look correctly, the sticker on the Alex Bowman looks just like, just like the Alex Bowman primary sticker that was in wave three. So this got me confused. I was like, wait, are they making another Alex Bowman? So yeah, you guys, this Alex Bowman car is really, really nice. Sorry, guys, my dad called me right there. So I'm going to have to edit this video out. God, that's so annoying. It's going to take forever, too. Whatever. But yeah, you guys, I have to edit this video anyways. So yeah, um, this Alex Bowman car is just so, so weird. I do like the paint scheme on the car. But the sticker, come on, Loino Racing, you're better than that. Oh my god. This is definitely my, my second favorite um, car from the Wave. But from that sticker and the PTC mold and probably a bunch of errors on the car, this takes it down. Way down. I'm going to give this car a 5 out of 10. Next up, we have Ty Gibbs. 2023 Interstate Batteries. Oh, man, is this a beautiful car, to be honest. This is really weird to see a Ty Gibbs car. And, yes, first things first, you guys might be thinking, what's that? Why is, you know, the, the Ty Gibbs, you know, the lettering on Ty Gibbs toward the right? As you guys can see here, it's, like, toward the right of the box. The left part of the box has, you know, 2023 Bay 5 and has the Interstate Batteries logo that's right here. That's why the Ty Gibbs is right there to the right. This car is really nice. I do love the sticker a lot with the lightning. And it looks like the coloring is good on the sticker and the packaging. The car, I cannot tell if it's good on the car or not. The red looks a little bit duller on the car, just like always. But yeah, this is a nice car, to be honest. I am very surprised that Lone Racing actually made this, because I think... Didn't this car have, like, the Monster Energy logo? I think it did, and then Lone Racing made it in the Gold Series without it. Which I'm glad that they did. Weird seeing a Ty Gibbs car in... Weird seeing a, you know, a Ty Gibbs car in a PTC mall, because it's the first time. Really weird seeing that, but... Dang, dude. This is actually really cool to see a Ty Gibbs car. Even if it's... I don't even care if this wave is PTC mold anymore. It doesn't even get me upset anymore, to be honest. It gets me still frustrating, but not upset like I was last year in 2021. When 2021 wave 13 came out, I was just blown. So, so mad. I was like, freaking, Like, gonna... I don't know. Destroy or wreck something. I don't know. Luckily now, these days, we just get PTC mold and yell mold all the time. But hey guys, as I was saying, this car is really nice. I do like the um the lightning bolt on the packaging. I feel like, I don't know. The fact that we have a Ty Gibbs Interstate Batteries car is just cool. We had a we had the Kyle Bush Interstate Batteries car in wave four for 2022. Then in 2023, wave two, 2023, wave two. We had the Martin Trucks Jr. 2022 Interstate Batteries. And now here in 2023, Wave 5, we have the Ty Gibbs 2023 number 54 Interstate Batteries. So we had three Interstate Batteries cars from Joel Gibbs Racing within only, basically only a year. Um, so yeah, you guys, this is really nice. Um, he, um, this guy just posted out a video. I'll have to check out after the video. Hey guys, this is a beautiful car. I do like it a lot. I'm going to get through this last car. That's the liquid color. You guys probably already know by now because Wave 5 has been leaked for a while now. It's been leaked for about a little bit.
But uh, yeah, um, I think this car is really nice, and I'm going to give this car a solid 8 out of 10. And the final car, yes, yes, Lornel Racing did it. I was worried that this was, I was worried that this car was not going to get in the NASCAR Authentics place because this guy is only a part-time racer now, unfortunately. I think this is the first time ever that we have had a part-time racer, um, a part-time NASCAR racer diecast in NASCAR Authentics. Um, let me try and think really quick, really quick. Yeah, this is the first time in a while. Holy cow. This is actually crazy. This is Jimmy Johnson's 2023 Carvana. Man, oh man, I am just so speechless, man. And yes, you guys, this is the liquid color. If you guys have not seen liquid color... Ooh, you are missing out. The liquid color is actually really, really beautiful. It has like a nice dark blue and light blue texture. And I think the gold, I think the gold, like number 84, I think maybe liquid too. I don't know. I have to check on that too. What a beautiful car. Lona Racing definitely did the job done. Otherwise, that stupid mistake by the Alex Bowman car and the Eric Jones and the Ryan Priest. I am very, very satisfied with the wave. I am very satisfied. I'll give you guys my honest opinion of this car in the color and, you know, the NASCAR Authentics whole entire wave as we get closer look into this. Um, so, yeah, as you guys, as I was saying, you guys, it's the 84 gold. The gold on this car is probably dull, just like Derek Jones. But I don't even care anymore. This is a beautiful car just in general. I really hope Lona Racing makes the Jimmy Johnson Club Wyndham paint scheme. I'm sure they will. This is so cool, man. So, so cool. Seeing Jimmy Johnson back in NASCAR Athletics. You guys have no idea how exciting and happy I am for this to happen. I was so, so sad when Jimmy Johnson lost rides and retired in 2020. And then 2021 and 2022 and part 2023 waves. Without Jimmy Johnson or Ryan Newman or Clint Boyer, you know. Very sad. But now we have Jimmy Johnson back in NASCAR Authentics. Just for this year. This year he came he bang, he came back from IndyCar into NASCAR again. And he has taken place back in NASCAR Authentics. This is so awesome. So yeah, as I was saying, you guys, the 84 on this car actually looks really bright. The 84 car. Well, I'm not going to rank this high because I like the guy, you know, because I like Jimmy Johnson or because he's back in NASCAR, thanks. The only reason why I'm ranking this car so high is because it's just an awesome, really cool paint scheme, you know. Jimmy Johnson back. I'm going to get this car a 8.5 out of 10. So, overall rating, the best car in this wave is the Todd Gilland. Again, for the second time. Two for two for Todd Gilland. That's pretty good by him. Not a surprise that I ranked Todd Gilland the highest just because it's an exclusive. But it's just a cool car, man. Just such a cool car. So, that's going to be almost the end of the video. I'm going to have you guys take a look at the back of this car. As you guys can see here, yes, look for, look for the Carvana Chase piece. The Carvana Chase piece. You guys can see here, yes, there is shout out to ACP Diecast on Twitter. Um, this is a beautiful wave, actually. This is the whole entire wave. Christopher Bell's DeWalt, Todd Gillen's exclusive, you know, General 8, Tom, or whatever it was called. Ty Gibbs, Near State Batteries, Ryan Priest, Haas, Austin Center, Discount Tire. Jimmy Johnson, Carvana, Eric Jones, Guns N' Roses, Alex Bowman, Ally, Best Friends, and Kyle Larson's HendrickCars.com. In this total, we have one exclusive. I'm sorry that you guys didn't couldn't look at the Jimmy Johnson, Carvana Chase piece, but I promise you guys it's a beautiful one. I'm going to rate the Jimmy Johnson, Carvana Chase piece a 9 out of 10. Very nice one, by the way. 
So this whole entire wave, we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got we got seven primary paint schemes, being the Christopher Bell, the Ty Gibbs, the Jimmy Johnson, the Kyle Larson, the Eric Jones, the Austin Sinek, and the Ryan Priest. Then we got two cars that, or excuse me, guys. Then we got one car that's a secondary. It's the Alex Bowman Ally Best Friends. And then we got that one car that's a primary, but we're not calling it primary. We're calling it exclusive. It's the Todd Gilland. So be sure to check your local Walmart soon because Wave 6 is out. Be sure to check your local Walmart, see if you can find this beautiful car right here, this 38 Todd Yellen car. So, yeah, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Always make sure to like and subscribe and turn on all notifications so you get notified when the next video gets out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to always like and subscribe. I post, like, basically daily, almost every day. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.